In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you. And look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him. My covenant with you is this. You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abraham. Your name shall be Abraham. For I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan, as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, On your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents, and the judgment he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. 
If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died? Or the prophets, who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my father who glorifies me. Of, who, of whom you say, He is our God. You do not know Him, but I know Him. And if I should say that I do not know Him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know Him, and I keep His word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, you are not yet 50 years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they pick up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. A pleasant morning to all of you, my dear sisters and brothers. In our readings today, there are two gestures that I would like to stress. The first is the one did by Abraham in the first reading from the book of Genesis. Abraham prostrated himself. Dumapa si Abraham. And what happens after the prostration? When Abraham prostrate, prostrated himself, God spoke to him, my covenant with you is this. You are to become this and this and this, and I will do this and this and this. There were promises, there were blessings. When Abraham prostrated himself, when he humbled himself before the Lord, promise of blessings came about. I think the reminder here is very clear, my dear brothers and sisters. Kapag tayo ay nagpapakababa sa harap ng Diyos, Kahit na hindi tayo dumadapa, basta tayo ay nagpapakababa sa harap ng Diyos, ang Diyos ay bibigyan tayo ng iba yung pagpapala. When Abraham prostrated himself before God, God blessed him. That is the first gesture. Abraham prostrated. The second gesture is found in the gospel towards the end. So there was an argument between the Jews and Jesus. And this argument will become intense as days pass. Next week, when we enter into Holy Week, you could see, no, you, you, you will hear no, how, how the argumentation, the quarrel between Jesus and the Jews will become intense. 
And here in the gospel, it says, they pick up stones to throw at him. Sa galit nila, no? Sa galit nila, pumulot sila ng bato upang ibato sa kanya. But what did the Lord do? Jesus hid, hid, and went out of the temple area. Nagtago si Jesus. Not because he was afraid. Jesus was never afraid. But because Jesus knew it was not yet time. The hour has not yet come. It is also an act of humility to submit oneself to the plan of God. Hindi pa ngayon, hindi pa oras, at siya'y lumayo at maghintay ng tamang oras. Pero pag dumating ang oras, dadating ang oras, he would say that the time had come, the hour, the hour had come, Jesus would face the hour with courage. But for now, the virtue is humility. Hide. Hide. Let God's plan come about in its due time. Sa so, mga ginigili kong kapatid, sa unang pagbasa at sa Ebanghelyo, ipinakita sa atin ang kahalagahan ng kababaan ng loob. Si Abraham dumapa sa harap ng Diyos at pagpapala ang ipinalit ng Diyos sa kanyang kapakumbabaan. Si Jesus isinuko ang kanyang sarili sa kalooban at plano ng Diyos. At alam naman natin, ang kababaang loob na ito ay tatapatan ng Diyos ng kaluwalhatian ng muling pagkabuhay. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be humble. Let us prostrate ourselves before God. Let us surrender everything to God's plan. After all, we know that God knows what He's doing. Amen. Please stand. Let us present our petitions to Jesus who guides us in our journey of faith to the Father as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That God's kingdom may exist within the hearts of those who recognize Jesus' presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That through Jesus we may receive the strength to journey in faith as Abraham did. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that our faith may be clearly evident through Jesus' action in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those who are in trouble may acknowledge Christ's presence who accompanies them in their journey. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may reach their eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our sick brothers and sisters, those who are in the hospital, those who are at home. May the Lord's healing hand be extended to them. Let us also pray for our own particular intentions and the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, grant our petitions and sustain our faith as we journey through life, that our reunion with you may be joyful. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept <coughs> the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, Our Father who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven <coughs> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. <clears throat> Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.